the force that sees first and sees the farthest, reaches first and reaches the fastest, and most importantly, has the unique ability to hit first and hit the hardest. We are the Indian Air Force. The defenders of our nation's skies. An air power beyond boundaries, showcasing our prowess, whether over the mighty Himalayas or over the vast Indian Ocean region. With our technologically superior assets and with the innate ability of our network-centric integrated air command and control system, we protect and secure India's skies 24-7. The IACCS is a countrywide and a networked air defense system which takes inputs from the IAF feeder sensors along with those from Indian Army, Indian Navy and civilian radars. We in the IAF understand the importance of self-reliance in defense production. We collaborate extensively with our PSUs, private industry and academia to strive for Atmanirbharta. Last year, IAF had inducted the indigenous light combat helicopter Prachand, while it also signed a contract for the HTT-40 trainer aircraft. Leading from the front and extending support to our PSUs, the chief of the air staff himself flew the LCA series production trainer. The trials of the extended range version of the air-launched Brahmos also proved to be successful. The IAF recently inducted the C-295 transport aircraft. We recently conducted the Bharat Drone Shakti, a one-of-its-kind live demonstration of various drone manufactured by the Indian Defence Ecosystem. The IAF also supports the local drone industry through its Meher Baba Swarm Drone Competition, further enabling the government's Ure Desh Ka Aam Nagrik scheme. IAF has opened up its 39 airfields as joint user airfields, enabling regional connectivity to the remotest part of the country. In the year gone by, the IAF has undertaken many novel initiatives on its steady path of transformation. Tests of a new heavy drop system with integrated combat parachute were carried out by our aircraft. The capability of the Indian aerospace ecosystem was on display to the world during this year's edition of the Aero India. Indian Rafales took to the skies during Bastille Day in France, with the IAF marching contingent being led by a woman officer. The year gone by also saw the return of the 18 Squadron flying the LCA Tejas over the Srinagar Valley. IAF and ISRO have successfully conducted trials of the innovative reusable launch vehicle. The astronaut designates of Indian Air Force continue their preparation in collaboration with ISRO for the upcoming Gaganyaan mission. A one-of-its-kind IAF Heritage Center was inaugurated in Chandigarh by the Honorable Raksha Mantri in May 2023. Reducing its carbon footprint, the IAF has now inducted e-vehicles as part of its vehicular fleet. The success of IAF's sporting heroes such as Junior Warrant Officer Abdullah Abubakar and Junior Warrant Officer Vikas Thakur is a product of the IAF's disciplined and well-rounded culture. Warriors by instinct, we are known as Apatsu Mitram, we, being the first responders, have always been at the forefront in providing humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, both within and beyond our borders. As an earthquake struck Syria and Turkey, we airlifted 510 personnel and 307 tons of relief load under Operation Dost. Similarly, as part of Operation Kaveri, we rescued over 2,000 personnel, including 67 foreign nationals from the conflict zone in Sudan. Our warriors led firefighting operations across different parts of the country. Even Cyclone Bipperjoy could not deter us. 
Our air warriors demonstrated exemplary courage and compassion. Rescuing the injured and stranded from high altitudes, they enabled immediate medical access to the remotest of the regions. When heavy rainfalls affected the state of Himachal Pradesh in the month of July and August, the IAF flew over 226 sorties, spread over 115 hours of flying, airlifting over 1,300 citizens and providing over 40 tons of relief material. We embodied India's ancient dictum of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. The world is one family. In expanding our capabilities beyond boundaries, the IAF has validated its tactics and operational preparedness by participating in a large number of flying exercises with air forces around the world. These exercises have given us opportunities to share our best practices, refine our procedures and train in a realistic operational environment. IAF takes immense pride in being a gender agnostic organization and provides equal opportunity to all purely on the basis of merit and capability. After inducting women into the combat role, IAF has achieved another milestone by handing over command of a combat unit to a woman officer for the first time. The first batch of Agni Veer Vayu passed out from the Airmen Training School, Belgavi in June this year and have now joined operational units. The first batches of Agni Veer Vayu women are already undergoing training. They will be inducted in all the trades of the IAF, including the aircraft stream. Various memoranda of understanding have been signed with academic institutions to provide an opportunity to Agnivir Bayus to acquire skill-based degrees. The Indian Air Force, always ready to operate beyond the boundaries, safeguards the skies over our seas as well. We have undertaken multiple long-range missions over both our seaboards, validating our maritime strike capability. On the occasion of the 91st anniversary of the Indian Air Force, I extend my warmest greetings to all air warriors, NCG, DSC personnel, civilians and their families. On this important day, we must acknowledge with gratitude the contribution of our predecessors who have helped bring the Indian Air Force to the standards that now exemplify it. It is incumbent upon each one of us to carry the torch forward by further enriching this rich heritage. For this to happen, it is essential that we do our duty to the best of our ability. Let us make this an era of notable enhancement in our capability. Godspeed and happy landings to each one of you. Jai Hind! Target coordinates, one uniform. That's what I do, man. 